then a quarter cup of milk. Mix that all up. I've got my oven preheated to 375. And this is going to bake probably about a half an hour. Just mix that. I mean, you can put this in a blender if you want. This. I love rhubarb. I'm sure to this recipe you could add some uh, strawberries if you wanted, but I'm just um, doing this. All right. Now I'm going to pour this. that's hmm. I'm gonna pop this in the oven okay so it is rhubarb season and my patch is doing amazing and today I'm going to make a crustless rhubarb pie and guess what today I'm going to spoil my husband because I'm going to uh, this will be edible for him because he's on a diet the poor man always on a diet so we got to keep our pappies happy so I'm making this for him so uh, follow along with me I'm I'm starting with uh, three cups of chopped rhubarb and I'll tell you a secret that I learned instead of using a knife get your kitchen scissors and just chop like that it's so let's make it easy for ourselves and making things simple I love simple things so what job I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I've got a greased pie pan and I'm going to pour, put all my rhubarb in the bottom of that. In a bowl, another separate bowl, I have a quarter cup of butter. And I'm going to use three quarters of a cup of um, stevia, but you, you can use sugar. If you're not worried about the sugar, then, but I'm doing this so he can eat this. And also I have a, a grandson that is uh, type one diabetic, and I'm sure he would love this. So I'm just going to blend that all together and then this calls for three eggs. One. So I hope you're doing well. It Last week the temperature here was unbelievably cold. This week we're in a heat wave. It's a different world we live in. So there we are. I'm going to mix those eggs, but I'm thankful for this good weather. Very thankful. So there's that. I'm going to just mix that all up. To that, I'm going to add a third cup of flour. And it calls for 
half a teaspoon of baking powder. And of course, always a little bit of salt. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so my rhubarb uh, crustless pie took about 45 minutes to bake. And I did a little bit of a taste on it and it's was the, of course the rhubarb is tart. And I know my husband has a very sweet tooth and he can have ice cream. Ice cream would complement this, so I'm not giving him that. But I do have this Walden's strawberry flavored syrup and there is no calories in this. And I'm going to just just lightly, just drizzle that on top. I'm sure you could get um, some frozen yogurt that would be good or Cool Whip whipped cream. So let's go and see what he thinks of this. All right. I know mm. that you've been craving something sweet, <laughs> so let's see if this. Mm. Is the rhubarb tart? That is, no, it's just right. Ah, that's good. And you say that's no, not, not a lot of calories? Nope. Excellent. Thank you. But you can't eat the whole pie. Well, this is excellent. I love it. So it's a keeper. It's a keeper. Yummy.